This is a Saracenia leucophylla. Darwin would not have been familiar with this plant. They're not native to Britain, unlike the Drosera rotundifolia. But some of his correspondents in America, such as Mary Treat, would have been familiar with these plants. They attract the flies with sweet nectar here and the patterning. Basically, the plant has two zones to its trap. The first is very slippery, and the second has downward pointing hairs. And inside that second zone is a lake of death, basically. And it contains enzymes, digestive enzymes, and acidic liquid to help utilize the soft tissues of the fly's body. But recently we've discovered, through the work of modern scientists such as Aaron Ellison, that this zone in Saracenia is a whole ecosystem and there are very complex feeding relationships going on here. And we know that because we have greater access to technology that help us to see better. So going from Darwin's microscope to the complex technology we have today, we can see a world within worlds. And we know that that world, that tiny world in this plant, is a good model of a larger system such as lakes.